Okay, hi everybody. Um, it's Pandusaurus here, and uh, welcome to my first tutorial on FL Studio in my new channel, Pandart Hub. And um, this one is just gonna be um, <clears throat> a video on how to use F FL Studio 10 for like beginners if if you've like no idea how to use it. Um, well, I'm gonna run you through like different different little um, tools you can use. So, first off, we're going to start right here, file, those are all my projects, um, and here's like, that. that's pretty straightforward, pretty much every program has these in there, and um, there's channels, so that's one, these are basically, these are channels, like, each of these things, these are channels, we'll get to those later, but you can add like a whole bunch of different ones, um, a lot of these are like ones that I uh, a lot of these aren't default ones, so if I do get to the channels, I'll show them in default. One thing that will help quite a bit if you're new um, is go to toolbars and put hint bar on over here. Because you can have this right here, and then um, when you go over, when you um, hover over anything, it will uh, show what it is. See, so clap, hat, snare. Anyways, and then have. There's, those are basically a lot of straightforward stuff. Options, MIDI settings, you have, if you have like a keyboard or something, which I do. I'm playing right now, but there's no sound, because, uh, I don't know why. <coughs> so, you, this, this is the, um, keyboard I have. You just pretty much, if you want to use a keyboard for recording everything, go through there. Oh, and there's audio settings, I use this. Actually, for this tutorial, I'm going to use primary sound driver. That's just like... Oh, there you go. Now I can... But that basically allows it, uh, different um, yeah, surround sound devices that you can use in FL Studio. Um, and then... Oh, I forgot. Oh, there's also general settings. It's just a whole bunch of stuff that I don't feel like uh, messing with because, you know... It's pretty much good the way it is. File settings. This is if you want to add like preset packs or something. If you like sound packs, and then you'd like go through here and you click this, and you could pretty much browse through wherever and just find uh, random uh, the files where you put sound packs in. And this is for uh, VST plugins, which are pretty like here's some VST plugins. Like um, you put you put like um one of these DLL files into a folder, and then You'd go to here, click that little thing there, and you just um, click a folder where the DLL file for the VST plugin is in. <coughs> Sorry. I, I have stuff in my throat. Okay. And then there... Okay, that's everything. On the... Now, tools. Um, yeah, this is just a lot of stuff that you probably won't be messing around with. Okay, this is master volume right here. And here is the pitch for like like master pitch for like everything. And then um right, see if if you don't want to hear me talking, you just mute and then I'll hover over this and you can just read the little hint bar. But it's a um, it's pretty much syncs the beat where you you're yeah. It it says that right there, so you can pretty much read that. You can read that too, and this is basically um the time. Like if you have a track, say, I'm just gonna quickly there. I have a track there. If, if I play it, and um so that's pretty much this is. You can pretty much go to anywhere in the track. That's pretty much like that's the yeah, showing the track. This pretty straightforward. This is for recording. If you want to um, record like um, keyboard, I'm using my keyboard right now, and then um, pause or stop. That's pause and play. This um, this thing is like all the shows all the like the bars um, for your track, like your pattern here. Like you see all these things. Those are that's like one one bar, and you can like. There, that's a bunch of bars. Basically, 
in, in simple terms, um, this it makes things longer. There you go. Um, and then over here we have the master tempo for the tempo of the whole song. And um, this uh, pretty much if you have different different patterns, which are pretty much different layers for your song, um, that's you you go through each pattern through this if you want to find each pattern easier instead of clicking this down arrow here and selecting all your patterns. And um, <clears throat> this is pretty much the length of your song, whatever. This is really not important. This is just um, news from ImageLine. ImageLine news is just pretty much news about your Free Loop Studio. That doesn't really matter at all. And then you have like right here, here's the mixer, where just pretty much you place like all these different um all these different channels you'd place into a mixer channel here. Like say choose this, click this down here and down arrow and assign free mixer track. And I have a mixer track right here for my kick. And then let's quickly make a easiest simple beat ever. Here you go. And then I have the the mixer track right here and I can add effects on it. So like you choose like different mixer tracks when you select a mixer track. This thing here, this is like all the effects slots you can have for each um, mixer track. And I'm going to put um, I don't know, let's put Fruity Delay Bank. This pretty much puts a, um, <clears throat> this puts like a delay, or not a delay, it's, um, yeah, on um, the kick, so it just like keeps, you can tell, you can tell by what it, what it's doing, you can hear it, you, you know what I'm talking about, I'm, I'm high right now, so I can't, <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, so whatever I say, don't really take my word for it completely, because I'm not really a pro of this, pro for this, anyways. Um, so that's all the boring stuff. Though this is this is all like your all all the, like the f the files you have for FL Studio, and yeah, so you can see like every single um file you've put in file you've put in and um random crap like that <clears throat> anyways let's get on to easy stuff um how to make a song for like a beginner and this stuff just play with that play around with it see what it does i don't feel like showing you <clears throat> uh first like what you want to do is file new from template and then um go to minimal here and basic not basic with limiter because don't bother look about the limiter just just basic here see you have uh, this the kick the clap the hat and the snare um, the first you want to do is just start with the beat just easy kick uh, clap uh, snare uh, I'm just doing something like super simple super super simple It's like super simple, and then you can um, stick this like this pattern. This is one pattern, one pattern finished, and you can rename it. And I'm gonna rename it to um, it's beat, and you can uh, recolor the whole pattern, which is so cool, right? Um, just click this, see so select color, yeah. and then you have like a whole bunch of different, oops, whole bunch of different um, options for colors. And I'm going to go with puke yellow. Oh, uh, that's gross. Okay, <clears throat> so we're going to put that into the... Slap that down. Into the... This is like... This is your whole track. This shows like your everything in your track when you slap it down in here. And then that's where you hear, hear the whole track. See, like... <laughs> 